Hello everyone. Uh, so welcome to this. I'll be presenting on the 12th state of human. I hope we all learn from this. Uh, if you have any idea or anything you can um, share with us. And um, yes, let's go. So topic is the 12th state of human acts. Okay, so uh, let's continue. Now, um, this objective is for you to understand and make meaning about the 12 states of human acts. Okay, that's the most basic thing we are going to go through. Now, when we say it's the 12 states of human acts, so these are the states you actually go through, okay, in making the decision, okay. Without achieving a goal or an objective, you need to go through the 12 states. This is philosophically proven and... Uh, it's interesting how we all will be able to go through and then we realize one way or the other, we all experience any of this. Okay, so let's move to the next phase. Okay, so what is it? So the 12 states of human act are a way of thinking about the moral of our actions. They help us to consider all of the factors that contribute to whether or not an act is good or bad. Okay, so by understanding the 12 states of human acts, we can make more informed decisions about our behavior and live more morally upright lives. Okay, so these are the 12 states. Now, this 12 states of human acts determines a decision or a goal. Before you make a decision, let's say you want to buy a ball, okay? If you want to buy a ball, you go through these 12 states consciously in your brain, okay? You don't have to write them down, but these are things which happens to us on everyday basis. So we all have to think through, I want to buy a ball. Is, is getting a ball good for me, the ways and ways I can acquire the ball, the processes involved, and all those things. You, you get it, right? Yeah, so that's the 12 states of human acts. Our actions, anything we do, go through these 12 states. Do you understand? Okay, so let's see what they really are. So what we know, uh, we should know, to every action or decision, there is a cause, okay? There's a lot of cause and effect. I get it. So before the effects, the effect, which is what we have, the actions, decisions, goals, and things we set, there is a cause. The cause is we actually sitting back and thinking about this. I get it. Should we really have to do this? Those are the causes. I get it. So, so every action, there is what? A cause and then an effect. Do you understand? So the effect is the action and the decisions. And then you have the cause. So we are going to take the cause to be the 12 acts of the 12 human acts. Okay, all right, so let's move to the next one. So what are the 12 states? So the first state is apprehension of end. I'll be explaining this. The next one is wishing of end, judgment of attainability, intention of end, deliberation on means, consent to means, practical judgment of choice, choice, command, use, intellectual attainment, fruition of God. I guess, yes. So I'll be explaining each of these states. Okay, so the first one, apprehension of end, understanding or recognizing a particular goal. So like I said initially, you have this, uh, let's let's use a phone, okay? Let's say now there's iPhone 15 out, okay? Now you want to get an iPhone 15 for yourself. That is the apprehension of end, understanding or recognizing a particular goal objective. So right now we've recognized that we need an iPhone 15. Even though we already have an iPhone 14, we want to have an iPhone 15. I get it. So this is the apprehension of it. Understanding or recognizing a particular goal objective that we have. Okay. So our re remember, put this objective down. Our first objective we have in mind, want to get an iPhone 15. So we've recognized and understood it. Okay. So now the next one, which is wishing of end, having a desire or wish to achieve the recognized goal. So this is where you start to develop a desire. I really need an iPhone 15 iPhone 15 is nice, the camera, uh, the, the slickness, the, the titanium covers, and all those. Okay, so this is where you have the desire, having a desire, wish to achieve. Yes, I really want an iPhone 15. Remember the first one, we, we, have, we have the thought and the decision, okay, to get an iPhone. The next one, now we are having a desire for it, okay. The third one, which is judgment of attainability. So this is evaluating whether the desired goal is achievable. So we ask ourselves, getting an iPhone 15, is it achievable? Of course, yes, it's achievable and it's not achievable to some people. It depends. So, so all of this is, you see, a cause and effect. We think about it, you are really thinking through this and then at the end will come 
to a decision we've made or a goal, whether we are getting it or not, I get it. So we evaluate whether the desired goal is achievable. Is a fulfilling achievable, yes or no? I get it. All right, so the next one, which is intention of end. Form the intention or purpose to pursue the goal. So we've realized, after we've gone through the judgment of attainability, we've realized that, yes, it is possible for us to get an iPhone 15. Now, the intention of end is forming the intention or purpose to pursue the goal. So this is where we try to form our intentions. Yes, I really need an iPhone 15. If I don't get an iPhone 15, I don't think there's any better phone on the market. I think getting an iPhone 15 will help me to capture good pictures. I think getting an iPhone 15, you see, we start to develop reasons for us to get the iPhone 15, okay? So this is the intention of end, forming the intentions or purpose to pursue the goal. So we form intentions and purposes we need to pursue this particular goal. Okay, so the next one, which is deliberation on means, considering the various methods or means to achieve the goal. Okay, so here we are considering the various methods and means to achieve. What are the methods for us to achieve the goal? Our goal is getting an iPhone 15. What are the various methods for us? So this we deliberate. Okay, uh, getting what are the various methods or means for us to achieve this goal? So maybe I need to ask my mom or my dad for money to get iPhone 15. Or secondly, I need to work, get a good job, earn enough money and get an iPhone 15. Third, maybe still, <laughs> which is surely not a good idea. I get in it. Yes, so we have three. Get someone else iPhone 15, ask for money or work for it. Okay, so these are the deliberation of me. So we've come up with three ways we need to get iPhone 15. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Concept to means, okay. So agreeing to a specific method or means for achieving the goal. So this is where we agree to the specific method. So which of these three methods do you think is okay for us? The last one, which is getting someone else iPhone 15, is definitely a bad idea. You get yourself in jail. So we are taking that out. Now we have two options. First option, asking mama for money. And say uh, the second option is working for it. Okay, so now this is where we deliberate. We, we, we ask which of this is okay for me, which of this is not okay for us to get iPhone 15. Okay, the next one we're having is practical judgment of choice, making a particular judgment about which choice to pursue. So this way, now we have two choices. Now I've decided, okay, is asking money from our parents really good in order to get iPhone 15 or working for it is okay. We work and gather money and buy it, save enough money and then buy the phone. So this way you practically judge your choices that you make, you get it. Now number eight, which is choice, making a definite choice among available options making a definitive choice among a variable. So now within these two choices, now we've decided to go for one. Let's say we are going to ask for mom for money to buy iPhone 15. <laughs> that is what we are going for. Okay, so maybe working, now we, we this way, remember we are taking to maybe working, you need to consider how much you're earning a month, how much you're saving. It might take you for about two, two, if after taking through, you think this will take you about two months for you to get an iPhone 15. And you think asking for mom, asking mom for money, will take you within a day for you to get iPhone 15. Why not? You deliberate within these choices and pick one. Are you getting it? Yes. So the next one, which is command, giving oneself a directive or command to act on the chosen option. So now we've decided to ask for mom. So what we do, we pick a phone, dial mom's contact and call. Okay, so this is a command. We are taking action on the, on the choices we've, we've decided to go with. Are you getting it? Yes. So the next one which is used, actively using the chosen means or method to pursue the goal. Now we've called mom. So now we are going to, what we are trying to do is we are going to call her and then let her deceive, uh, talk to her, try to let her understand that getting an iPhone 15 is very, very good and all that. We are going to find ways to lure her in order for her to accept that we need an iPhone 15 and she's going to give us the money to buy it. You get it, yeah. So that's actively using the chosen means or method to pursue the goal. You get it. So we are finding ways we can convince mom to give you money to buy your iPhone. So that's for the 10. And the next one, which says intellectual attainment, achieving the goal intellectually or in terms of understanding. Now, we use our intellectual means to, uh, to we're able to talk to mom for her to understand that we need iPhone 15. Now she has decided to give us the money to buy the iPhone 15. Okay. So this is the intellectual attainment. Now we've attained our goal. What's the next step? Pick the money go to the shop and get iPhone 15. I get it, yes. So that's the fruition of God, experience the realization of God. So now we've achieved it, we've got an iPhone 15. Is this worth it? You definitely have to use an iPhone 15, right? 
<laughs> yeah, so that's it. I don't know if you have any questions around you, you can let me know and then I'll attend to it. Okay, so the next one is, it's no surprise. This happens to everyone. We all go through this 12 states of uh, states whenever I'm making a decision or setting up. Yes, we all go through this. We go through this every day. It might be unconscious. You don't, sometimes you don't really write them down. Some people really write goals down, but we sometimes, most of people don't write them down. But in your mind, consciously and unconsciously, your mind processes all this for you to arrive in a certain goal and achieving it, either achieving it or not achieving it. You get to try. All right. So the next one is Marami Salamat, which means thank you so much in Tagalog, Philippines language. All right. God bless. So this slide is for a friend I'm using. I developed it for her. And um, her name is Rosin Alam. You can see it in the beginning of the slides. And all thanks to her for the slides. And uh, yeah. I hope you understand if you have any question around the 12 states of human act, let me know and then I'll get back to you and understand. Peace. Wow.